What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What is up, what is up, what is up? So, I'm here to talk to you guys about something. I'll move this over real quick. But I want to talk to you guys about something real quick. I want to talk to you guys about what I've been through the last seven years. And some of you guys may have an idea about what I've been through. But what you guys don't know are the in-depth details. Oh, what you guys don't know are the in-depth details about what I've been through. See, a lot of people think that this bullying thing with me started only a few years ago, but it started much more than that. It started longer than that. My bullying, my very first taste of online bullying, it started back in 2017. But the hatred that led up to it started a year before that. It started in 2016. When I met this girl named Candle Smith. Who I would soon find out was a lying sack of shit. You see, Marty got the idea to make me look like a pedophile from my ex, Candle. Because there's a video around on YouTube where... She basically called me a pedophile when I am not one. Now, Candle's the kind of person that if... You break up with her or she breaks up with you... She'll automatically say that you raped her or call you a pedophile or say this and say that. She's done it to myself. She's done it to my good friend Paul, aka Boogeyman the Clown, who's been one of my closest friends for many years now. I know a lot of people are saying, you know, like, don't talk about the past, forget about it, but I want you guys to know the truth about what it is that I went through so that you guys don't suffer the same fate that I've suffered. Because I don't want what I went through for anyone. I would not wish what I've been through on anybody. And I want you guys to be able to know the real story of what truly happened. That way you guys don't get the same kind of shit that I got and do continue to get. What I've been through, I would never wish on anyone. And everybody tries to silence me by making lies up and saying this, saying that. But honestly, it's time you guys heard the truth. There are very few people in this world that truly know what happened. And I want the world to know what it is that I deal with on a daily basis. Because I don't want anyone to suffer the kind of bullying that I've had to endure for the last seven fucking years.
You see, Candle pretended to kill herself to get back at me. Which first drew in Music Biz Marty's attention. And at that time, I didn't know who he was. I didn't know what a troll was. And, you know, back then I didn't know trolling existed. I honestly did not know that trolling was a thing. I honestly didn't know. But after seeing Candle pretending to kill herself, Marty started attacking me along with several other people. That attacking went on for quite a long time. And by that point, I was already drugged into the troll community and I was not even aware of it. I only became aware of it when I came in contact with this group known as the Bender Boys. And honestly, at first, I didn't know who they were. I didn't know who the Bender Boys were, never heard anything about them. But they were saying that, you know, they ran their own label. And at that time, before I had a name to myself, you know, they were like, hey, you know, we want to help sign you, we heard what you got. You know, we want to start a label with, you know, you. And at that time, I was like, yeah, sure. Because if anybody knows me, if anyone truly knows me, you guys know, especially those of you that do know me on that level, you guys know that I'm all about helping people. You guys know I'm all about helping people, especially when it comes to music. Because if I see somebody that's serious about what they do, I'm going to help them out. And these guys made it look like they were serious. So I was like, absolutely, I'll gladly help you guys out in any way that I can. Well, when... When it came down to it, little did I know that they were trolling me the whole time. They had me sign a contract that was fake. It was not legally notarized. And, you know, it was a whole mess.